Hello, this is our animation Zenith. Um, we worked on it together. I'm Crystal Polly, and that's Maya Sullivan. So when we were coming up with ideas, we kind of knew that um, we want to work together and we want to do some sort of 2D animation thing because I'm very interested and passionate in 2D animation and I didn't get a chance to do it since I joined Freestyle my senior year. And we knew we wanted something short, but really visually interesting with some action in it, maybe. We were inspired by video game trailers, such as the ones from Genshin Impact and Super Smash Bros. wanted to create a short animation that still showed off a lot of the characters' abilities. And we also wanted to make sure we included a very vibrant color palette. The main character of this animation is an original character that I designed a while ago. Um, her name is Sashi. She is a crab person, I guess, who lives alone on a volcanic island. Um, and this is my first drawing I did of her. Um, and originally I had crab claws coming out of her back. But as you see now in the updated versions of her and in the animation I have, her, uh, it's so she can turn her hands into crab claws. She's very nimble and acrobatic. She can breathe fire. And she always looks really grumpy. These are a few more pictures I did of her. Just little doodles from my sketchbook that I found. They're pretty cool. And so... One of the first things we had to do was I had to put together a good model sheet for her so we can get the proportions approximately right. Um, and I just took a bunch of pictures of her from before and took what I liked and added it to this. So for planning and storyboarding, we took inspiration from Kung Fu Panda, Steven Universe, Avatar The Last Airbender, and clips of Wolverine. Uh, the inspiration from Kung Fu Panda came when she was jumping around on the rocks. Uh, we really liked that scene when Tai Lung was jumping around on rocks trying to break out of prison. Uh, to figure out how her claws would work, we looked at clips of Garnet from Steven Universe uh, when she transforms her hands into like the gauntlets that she gets. And we looked at uh, clips of Uncle Iroh breathing fire from Avatar to see how we would go about doing the fire effect animation and we would just look at uh, general clips of Wolverine for like how he moves and stuff to get a general sense of how she would move around during the animation. For the backgrounds I knew I wanted to do something super bright and I knew I kind of wanted a very red looking sky, a very uh, muted purple like water and we kind of took like the red sky as a like, really good backdrop and so we had to tweak the skin tone and the hair tone to look natural against the really bright and vibrant sky color and that took a little bit of time to get right we did the actual animation in photoshop and uh, we used the timeline method instead of the keyframing method to do the entire thing um, we started out by putting the storyboards in there and getting the timing right. And then after that, we drew the rough animation over the storyboards. And then we refined it by using the line art. And then finally, uh, we put in the color. For editing, we used After Effects. Uh, this is where we put all of our finished animated clips together. And we also added a few details like uh, making the water move. We also added the sound in this part. Okay, now here we have just a quick time lapse uh, that Maya filmed of her screen while she was animating the fire sequence, which I think you said that was the hardest part of the animation for you. How'd you do it, man? Yeah, it was just hard because fire moves so organically and there's so many different styles I could have done with it like I didn't know if I wanted to go with line art 
or just take the brush and just let it go. Uh, it was also challenging to make the colors stand out and make it look like it's glowing against the already bright colors we had on the background. So that was difficult. Speaking of challenges, how was using Photoshop for animation, like 2D animation, for the first time? It was pretty hard. It was pretty hard because it was just really weird for me to start on a new interface with anything, you know? And so with Photoshop, I had to get used to uh, where all the different tools were for animation and how to do stuff, like where to turn on onion skin and... Um, finding out like more efficient ways to color things in, which I'm very thankful that Anna taught me a better way to color things. And just trying to keep track of all your different keyframes and such like that. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, Krista, do you have any advice for people that are like just starting out in animation? No.